स Translation: The blowing of these different conch shells became uproarious, vibrating both in the sky and on the earth. It shattered the hearts of the sons of Dhritarashtra. Purport: When Bhishma and the others on the side of Duryodhana blew their respective conch shells, there was no heart breaking on the part of the Pandavas. Such occurrences are not mentioned. But in this particular verse, it is mentioned that the hearts of the sons of Dhritarashtra were shattered by the sounds vibrated by the Pandavas' party. This is due to the Pandavas and their confidence in Lord Krishna. One who takes shelter of the Supreme Lord has nothing to fear, even in the midst of the greatest calamity. Hmm. See one more gem. <laughs> Two gems today. Uh, we are not talking about what is that? Uh, Parley gems. We are talking about Prabhupada's gems. Mm. This is due to the Pandavas and their confidence in Lord Krishna. Mm. So the confidence is reflecting in the sounds that they are making. Mm. So much confidence. They are oozing with confidence that when they blow their conch shell, that confidence in Lord Krishna that uh you know is coming through even in their in the sounds so confident they were sometimes when we are confident they say you know everything about the way we speak the way we walk uh, everything shows our confidence and if we don't have confidence then any anything and everything about us uh, will show the lack of confidence Mm. So Pandavas had their confidence. So confidence means they had full faith in Krishna. That full faith in Krishna. Now the reason they have faith in Krishna was because they were two reasons. One is they were anyway following dharma, right? And uh, they knew that you know uh, Supreme Lord is anyway going to be on the side of those who are uh, dharma vadis. Second thing is more than that, Krishna himself, Supreme Lord, was. with them like uh, you know friend relative etc right and they were confident that uh, krishna is there uh, nothing to fear so that is why propad extends that saying that one who takes shelter of the supreme lord has nothing to fear even in the midst of the greatest calamity now this is like very powerful statement right so much faith one must have in krishna Mm, but the important part here is that one has to take shelter take shelter means what we keep repeating this every now and then so that you know we don't forget the verse anukulya sankalpa pratikulya se varjanam rakshishati ti vishwaso gopturutve varnam tatha atmanikshepa karpanyo shadvida sharanagati hmm jila bhaktivinoda thakur has written uh is you know songs on charanagati beautiful sometime we will plan to read that mm, and it, in that he clearly says i mean this shelter at one for especially grihasthas uh, we have this tendency of you know feeling like we own the whole house you know because we bought the house uh, whatever we think you know we are the owners of the house no but in charanagati bhakti vinod thakur says that we are actually servants house belongs to krishna we are servants of the house and we are servants of all the other devotees also in the house hmm? so we have to take shelter completely okay krishna this is your home krishna this is whatever hmm koptrutve varnam tatha whatever is family you are taking care of the family i am not taking care of the family somebody is not well in the house okay it is your family you will take care why should i worry i will do whatever order you give me i will do and their order means you know sometimes we we'll use our general understanding of the situation do whatever it takes but 
completely depend on Krishna. Hmm. So we have nothing to fear, even in the midst of the greatest calamity. So when I read this statement, you know, in the midst of Corona, I said, you know, even in the midst of greatest calamity, there is nothing to fear. How did we have taken shelter of Krishna? So, if you have faith that Krishna will take care, then Krishna will take care. If you don't have faith that Krishna will take care, then Krishna will say, okay. So beautiful, no? This you, almost we should feel like, you know, Prahlad Maharaj. When Prahlad Maharaj, uh, you know, he was basically, he was like, you know, in such an exalted stage of bhakti that he felt like the Supreme Lord was touching his shoulders. Hmm. Very high level of bhakti. So when to take shelter of the Supreme Lord, you know, we should practically feel like the Lord is like carrying us, you know, like a baby. The baby has no fear. Hmm. Children have no fear because they know that their parents are there. And Pandavas had this faith. Okay, in the middle of the battle, so many warriors on the other side and such a difficult situation, but it's okay. Krishna is there with us. Hmm? So very important, right? I mean, today so many people are worried, okay, vaccine, no vaccine. Actually, <laughs> vaccine or no vaccine, it doesn't matter, right? Vaccine also people are saying, okay, there are side effects. No vaccine also, there, you know, this one thing that you might catch, can get corona. Either way, the Krishna is going to protect, whether there is vaccine or no vaccine. Even if vaccine has to create some problems, even from that, who will protect? Krishna will protect. But unfortunately, many a times, you know, we we want to operate too much on the material level. We forget about Krishna's presence. Hmm. Today we were discussing something about how uh, Iskan is opposing Varnashrama and there was apparently some presentation that somebody made saying that how one can spoil their life with Varnashrama. And one of the reasons which were given was saying that if your child grows up in a Varnashrama environment without modern education, etc., then he will grow up and then he will ask you saying that, why did you waste my life? You didn't give me an opportunity to learn computer science. Which basically means that we have no faith in Krishna. We have no faith in Krishna's words. We have no faith in Krishna's system. Hmm? So this is so important actually. Taking full shelter of Krishna means following all his instructions and that of his you know, pure devotees. So nice. I mean, such statements we should relish and we should dive into it. Just that one statement should make us think so beautifully crafted. Okay, I'll stop there. Anybody has any questions on this verse or what we discussed? <laughs>